Starting with the most, put these four languages in order by the number of people who speak them. Mandarin Chinese, Italian, English, Russian. OK, let's have a look at the right order first. We want the one with the most people who speak it first. First one. Mandarin Chinese. Then English. Next one's Russian. And last one, of course, is Italian. That's the right order. Let's see who got it right. But most important, who got it right in the fastest time? All these got it right. Who got it right fastest? Paul McLaughlin! <laughs> Good man. Are you ready for this? Yeah. Okay, come on. Right, it's going to be a busy one hour long show tonight. This is Paul McLaughlin from Bingley in West Yorkshire. He's a nurse. Uh, his wife Jennifer up there in the audience looking thoroughly embarrassed, actually. She's a nurse as well. <laughs> so he's. Um, He's in good hands tonight if he has a bit of a turn. Uh, with a million pounds, Paul says he would... F it's a very strange idea, this, but he would fly all Jenny's Canadian relatives over for a wild family party, but he would also buy himself an executive box at Leeds United. You'd also fly your, fly your mother, isn't it? Yeah. To Australia? Because <clears throat> all my mum's brothers and sisters live in Australia. They all emigrated apart from her. Well, so you'd leave her there, basically. <laughs> <laughs> No, I'd, I'd fly it back afterwards. So. OK, and you're, and you're obviously a, a Leeds fanatic. Yeah. OK. All right, well, fingers crossed. Hope you win lots of money tonight. Fifteen correct answers. Win Paul £1 million. Pounds. As always, he's got three brand-new lifelines. Start all over again. He's got 50-50. He's got phone a friend, and he's got ask the audience. OK, Paul, are you, are you ready for this? OK, let's play. Who wants to be a millionaire? <laughs> for 100 quid. What name is given to a golfer's assistant who carries his clubs? Caddy, Sherpa, Gopher, or Donkey? <laughs> <laughs> For £100, I think we probably know this one, don't we, Paul? Yeah, Caddy. Hey, Caddy's the right answer. You've got 100 quid. Good man. <laughs> Now, you could at this point take £100 to go. Nobody's ever done it, but you could. Uh, you've got three lifelines. Have a look at this question for £200. Tell me if you want to play it. Which line divides the Earth into northern and southern hemispheres? Tropic of Cancer, International Dateline, Equator, or Tropic of Capricorn? For £200. Quid. C, Equator. Equator's the right answer. You've got £200. <laughs> OK, you're going well. 300 quid. Here it comes. Have a look. Which month of the year was named after Julius Caesar? June, July, August or September? 300 quid. B, July. B, July is your answer. It's the right answer. You've got 300 quid. You've got 300 pounds. Have a look at this for 500 pounds. Take your time. Don't forget at this point, if you get an answer wrong, you would go away with nothing. Have a look at it. Take your time on it. 500 quid. Here it comes. What does Arthur Daly call his wife in the TV series Minder? The other half. The missus. The old lady. Err indoors. D. Err indoors. Chop. Cap. It's good. You got 500 pounds. <laughs> Have a look at this for £1,000. How many months in a year have 31 days? Five, six, seven, or eight? For £1,000, take your time. How many months in a year have 31 days? You have got three lifelines. Lip read, everybody in the audience, they're all doing the same thing. They're all doing half. Right, so I'm going to ask the audience. OK. <sighs> right, audience, let's see if you, uh, you sorted that. Well, the half, half, half. How many half? How many months in a year half 31 days? All of you vote, please, on your computer keypads. Vote now. <laughs> Looks quite, um, quite promising. 3% think 5, 6% think 6, 83% reckon 7, 
have 31 days. 8% say 8. Audience is hardly ever wrong. <laughs> only ever happened once on this uh, two series. I'll, I'll go with the audience. I'll go for C. Do you find Lancer? Yeah. Well done, audience. <laughs> <laughs> you see, all that hathing, all that hath hath was not in vain. He's got a thousand pounds, he's still got two lifelines, he's still got 50 50, and he can still phone a friend. And I have to say, Jennifer, your wife up there is looking much, much happier than she was about two minutes ago. Have a look at this question, it's worth two thousand pounds to you. For what is fax an abbreviation? Faculty, facility, facsimile, or factor? C, facsimile. You're terribly confident. Are you happy with your answer? Facsimile, you're saying to me? Yeah. Final answer for £2,000? You got £2,000. <laughs> And you've still got two lifelines. Um, you look ever so nervous, but you're doing well. <laughs> Compose yourself, stay calm, you're fine. You've got 50-50 left, you've got phone a friend left, and you've got £2,000. Have a look at the next question, though. If you go for it and get it right, you double it, you go to £4,000. Have a look. Which character in mythology opened the box and released all the evils into the world? Ariadne, Pandora, Helen, Cassandra. 50. Yeah. Okay, computer, take away two wrong answers for me, please. Leave Paul with the right answer and the one remaining wrong answer. I'll go for B, Pandora. Confident? No. <laughs> Drop a thousand to get it wrong. It's your B, choice. B, Pandora. Final answer. You had £2,000. You've now got £4,000. <laughs> and you've still got phone a friend if you need it. Have a look at this. It's worth £8,000 if you give me the right answer. What are the devil's bones? A rock formation. Bamboo canes. Dice. Shark's teeth. If you get it wrong, you drop 3,000. Can I phone a friend? You can phone a friend. Who are you going to call? Uh, Terry. Terry. Armitage, my stepdad. So your stepdad? Yeah. Okay. All right, we'll phone Terry. You'll only have 30 seconds to give him the four possible alternatives. Hello. Terry? Yes? Hi, it's Chris Tarrant on ITV, who so wants to be a millionaire. Yeah. Hi, I've got uh, Paul McLaughlin with me. Yeah. Now, I know you can't see a telly at the moment, Terry, but he's got a question with four possible answers. One is the right answer, three are wrong. At the moment, Paul's got £4,000. I want to get him up to £8,000 with your help, Terry, if we can. Right. OK, the next voice you hear will be Paul's. You'll only have 30 seconds, hopefully, to give him the right answer. OK. As soon as we hear Paul's voice, we start the clock. Right. All right, Paul, your time starts now. Right. Terry? Yep. What are the devil's bones? A rock formation? Bamboo canes, dice, or shark's teeth? Well, I think the dice, but I'm not 100% sure. The devil's bones? Yeah. How sure are you? Well, 50-50, Paul. Dice? Yeah. Right, OK, thank you. OK. C, dice. Trust him. It's cost you £3,000 if he's giving you the wrong answer. C dice, yeah. Want to play? Yeah. Final answer? Yeah. You just won £8,000. <laughs> Oh! <laughs>
Right. If he goes to the next question, he gets it wrong. He drops 7,000. If he gets it right, he will win 16,000 pounds. Find out what Paul wants to do on the next question. He's got no lifelines left. Find out in just a couple of minutes. Join us again for some more. Who wants to be a millionaire? <laughs> Paul McLaughlin, just before the break, won £8,000, so the huge relief of myself and this audience. Paul, you've got no lifelines left, but if you go to the next question and get it right, your money goes up to £16,000. If you go one past that, you're guaranteed going home tonight with £32,000. Whatever happens, you go away with £1,000, but if you do go for this question and get it wrong, you drop £7,000, OK? Let's have a look at the question. Take your time. You've got no lifelines left. Take your time. Tell me if you want to play. Which word describes the lined pattern visible in polished wood? Nap. Flush. Milling. Or grain. I think I know where it is. Got no lifelines. It's worth £16,000. If you get it wrong, you drop £7,000. It's your call. I can't help you, you've got no lifelines. It's £16,000 if you get it right, but you do drop £7,000 if you get it wrong. You go home with a £1,000, but you drop £7,000. D, green. You want to play? It's your choice. It's a lot of money, it's your choice. D, green. Your final answer? Yeah. You couldn't have thought to lose £7,000. You haven't! You've just won! <laughs> Thousand pounds, you're some brave guy. Oh, I'm delighted. <laughs> oh, right. You've still got no lifelines. You've got sixteen thousand pounds. Now, Paul, at this moment, you can take sixteen thousand pounds and get the hell out of it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but if you go for the next question, if you know it and get it right, you guarantee leaving here tonight with at least thirty-two thousand pounds. But if you get this wrong, you drop fifteen thousand. Have a look at the question for £32,000. Which river flows through Dublin? The Liffey. The Shannon. The Boyne. Or the Foyle? A, uh, Liffey. I saw your eyes light up. <laughs> you gonna play? Yeah. Saying to me, Liffey is the river that flows through Dublin. If you're wrong, you drop 15,000, you know that. Final answer, going for it? Yeah. You've just won 32,000. <laughs> Whatever happens, you and your nursing wife leave here tonight. Jennifer is absolutely <laughs> beside herself. You leave here tonight with a minimum, with our blessing, of £32,000. But you've got no lifelines, but at this point you are five questions away from £1 million. And you might as well play the next question, because whatever... It hasn't sunk in yet, has it? Because whatever happens, you will leave here tonight with at least... 32 grand. I can buy a new car. And I'll write you out a check now for 32,000 pounds. Okay? Feast your eyes on that sunbeam. <laughs> Whatever happens, you leave here tonight with our check for 32,000 pounds. But we don't want to give you that. <laughs> I'd love to give you the next check for 64,000 pounds. Have a look at this. If you get it right, it's worth 64,000 pounds. Here it comes. Proper Cajun food comes from which? American state, 
Florida, Georgia, California, or Louisiana. You've got 32,000 pounds. D, Louisiana. You guarantee 32,000 pounds, you're definitely going to play? D, Louisiana. You sure? Final, final answer. I can I write you out a cheque for sixty thousand pounds? Sixty-four thousand pounds for the problem. Sixty-four thousand pounds. Whatever happens, you get thirty-two. At the moment, you've got that cheque for sixty-four thousand pounds. Okay, just have a look at it. Feast your eyes on that. Sixty-four grand with your name on. <laughs> but we don't want to give you that. <laughs> We laugh in the face of 64,000. What a great night. You've got 64 grand. Now, Paul, at this moment, you could take it and go. Have a look at the next question. If you do get this one wrong, you drop 32,000 pounds back to 32 grand. Have a look at the question. It's worth 125,000 pounds. Which of these is not a language? Tamil, Urdu. Telugu or Dervish? I'm not sure. I'm going to take the money. I'm going to take the money. Any idea at all? No idea, no. Well, I know Urdu is a language, but I'm not sure about the other three. I'm happy. No, I'm, I'm getting out of here. <laughs> <laughs> Give me a big hand. He leaves here with this check. For 64. Jennifer, come on down here. Come on. Come on. Give a big kiss. <laughs> I can tell you the £125,000 answer would have been D. Dervish. Yes! <laughs> you little liar. Great Saturday night for, uh, for Paul McLaughlin. He leaves here £64,000 richer. Great contestant. Right.